Hey friends, I'm Donna Amadon, your spiritual fitness coach. And today we're talking about forgiving ourselves and moving past our past. A few years ago, I was teaching at a ladies event and afterward, a sweet woman approached me. She told me she had been an alcoholic for years and it had affected her health and her relationship with her kids. She said she knew God had forgiven her, but she still felt so much guilt. She could not forgive herself. And I know this woman is not alone. I think we have all been there. And maybe you're there now. You may say, Donna, I know I'm forgiven, but I still feel stuck. What do I do? Well, today I want us to look at someone in the Bible who could have had a very hard time forgiving himself. It was the Apostle Paul. Now, we know him as this spiritual giant, but did you know that before Paul became a believer, he persecuted Christians, he imprisoned them, and he even assisted in their execution. And yet, listen to how Paul speaks of his past. Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14 say, But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. You see, I think there is a great lesson here for us. Very simply, Paul chose to put his past, the good and the bad, behind him. Of course, Paul didn't literally forget his past or pretend like it didn't happen. Rather, Paul was determined not to let his past hold him back from the ministry God had for him now. He says in verse 14, I press on. Now, let's think about this. What if Paul had not pressed on? What if he hadn't moved past his past? What if he recounted his sin and sank in the pit of guilt and shame? You know, I don't think that we would even know him as the Apostle Paul. You see, Paul didn't let his past hold him back. He understood Christ's once-for-all sacrifice and what it meant to be forgiven. And though Paul did have a past, he also knew that God had something for him now. And in the same way, God has a purpose for you and me. Here's something we can't forget. We have a spiritual enemy who does everything he can to derail us from God's purpose for our life. Just as a runner in a race stumbles when they look back, so our spiritual enemy tries to trip us up by making us focus on the past and our mistakes. But our Heavenly Father is saying, no, don't look back. Run the race. Your mistakes have not disqualified you. There is no condemnation. So here's my challenge for you today, friend. Focus forward. If there is something from your past that's weighing you down, bring it to God and ask for his forgiveness. Then, like Paul, focus on the purpose and assignment he has for you. Friends, your race and my race is not over. So focus forward and go. Win today.